hello and welcome once again to my youtube channel this reflex image and in this video i will show you how i do this color grading firstly let me explain the story behind this picture this picture was just like a collaboration work with a mobile photographer a mobile photographer which is a friend of mine to shot it you can check out his instagram and do so on this very day we had to do a collaboration together he's using his mobile phone to take picture well by i'll be using my own camera to take picture i'll be dropping some of the bts video below as i'm seeing this so i'm using my canon 60d and it was a very very hot afternoon so i decided since he's not using any light just using his mobile phone so i was planning on taking my ad 200 pro along with me but i want the equation to be balanced why will i be using lights why is using just his bare phone no light and anything and i want to get the same outcome i want to get a perfect outcome so i just decided to go with natural lights and actually i was using iso 100 to take this picture my first time i'm using shutter speed 1 slash 1000 1 slash 3200 as you can see over here i'm using 3200 shutter speed because the sun was fucking much but actually i got something nice and i'm using aperture 1.8 iso 100 so i'll be doing the color grading and let's see if we can get something nice out of it so let's start the color grading with no further ado so the next first thing i'll be doing is i don't want to touch the exposure if i'm to touch the exposure now initially it's going to brighten up the skin for me which i want but also it's going to increase the brightness in the backdrop also and while i'm taking my picture especially when it comes to outdoor i love my background to be a little bit darker than my model but since i'm not using the lights and the yeah, iso is high there's no way for me to control that so and i love the temperature the way it is right now but if the temperature is not okay i can just bring it up but i think i love the, it the way it is the way it is like this so the next thing i'll be doing right now the highlights i'll bring down the highlights i'll be bringing down the highlights but the shadow i'm going to increase the shadow as you can see immediately i just increase the shadow as you can see it's brightening up my model for me look at how dark my model skin is before so the immediately i just bring it up it brightened my model skin for me so under the white also i'm going to bring the white down i'll bring it down if i'm to increase it up it's going to brighten the entire document for me but i'm going to bring the white down I'll bring it down and under my black also i'm going to increase my black but not so much though so as you can see right now here's the before here's the after with just my basic setting when it comes to camera roll before and after which actually gave me something perfect but that's just the beginning so the next thing let's start our color grading by using using the hsl adjustment as i told you guys earlier on in my previous video if you are not using capture one the other best way to edit your portrait picture if you are not using capture one you're not using your lightroom you can actually use your camera roll to color grade your picture from start to finish and you're going to have a nice and perfect result. so i'll just have to go to my hsl adjustments i'll click on it firstly we have three options over here we have our eu we have our saturation and we have our luminance so you can start work messing around with the three but i'll show you what they're all about like the hue now hue is for me to change one color down let's go to the hue so here's the hue right now okay let me see which color i have here okay here is the green right there if i want to change the green to yellow i'll just come under the green here i'll just have to drag it to my yellow as you can see right there my green changed to yellow but if i'm to drag it up my green become greener so i'll reduce it back so i can switch from one color to another okay here's my purple right under the purple let me change it to pink it's giving me the pinkish look but if i'm to drag it down it's going to give me a bluish look so that's what the eu do, does it changes from one color to another so let me return it back to its normal position which is there so that's about the eu it's going to change your any color from one color to another so let's check out the orange if i'm to drag the orange up look at what it does for me so anything that is just similar to the orange is not going to affect the entire document it's only going to affect the particular color you're working on so i'll return it back to its normal position return it back to the normal position so under the saturation we all know what saturation does it's going to increase the color but the the beauty of the camera roll especially when it comes to hsl adjustment is that 
you have at least you have eight different colors to mess with and i think the eight colors is enough for you to manipulate when it comes to color grading so if i want to manipulate the skin automatically i know this is my skin if i want to increase this as you can see it's only going to affect the skin i'm just saying this is not how i want it i just have to reduce it bring it down so that's what the hsl adjustment does it has separate colors for you to manipulate with so let me just say i don't want my green color to be there i just have to bring the saturation down and it's going to kill all, all the green colors there for me but i'll return it back to normal again so now let's start our color grading since you know the saturation and the hue why the luminance the luminance starts for okay maybe my skin color is too bright i want to bring i want to reduce the brightness as you can see it stands for darkening and lightening of a particular color as you can see right now so that's what it does so now let's start our color grading right now so under my blue i'm going to increase my cyan i'll increase my blue also increase my blue what color do i have here my green let me increase it a little bit my yellow also okay so i'm done with the saturation let's go to our hue let me change my trailer to a little bit of pink which i have over here the magenta is also let me bring it down so which other color okay my blue let me change my blue to cyan as you can see it's only reflecting on the blue but it's a little bit too much i'll drag it down so let's go to my luminance let me see if i can do anything in my luminance okay my skin color i'm going to brighten up a little bit i'll brighten it i'll brighten it up a little bit so now let's just check out our before and after of our picture here's the before and here's the after which is perfect you just single click we actually color grade our picture without using any preset at all just using our hsl and our basic settings when it comes to camera room so once you're done with the first step of color grading here you can just open the picture up in photoshop just click on open wait for it to load up so the next thing i want to do now i want to crop my picture i'll be retouching in this video i don't do much retouch what i do mostly is color grading and stuff so the first thing i just have to do is just to click on my crop tool I'll make sure I'm using my 4x5 pixel, which is my Instagram size. So I can just post on Instagram without Instagram asking me to resize my picture or anything. So I just have to adjust the size or adjust it. So because I don't want it to crop the hand for me. So let me say I'm okay with the size. But the issue I'm having right there is that it's giving me this whitey stuff vibe. But I'll, I'll be showing you a way for you to get rid of that right now. So just come over here. Make sure you click on your rectangle marker too scroll over the area scroll over the area then you right click on it go to fill click on fill make sure it's on content aware then click on ok wait for it to load up it's going to fill it with the background for you and some might noted the difference wait for it to load up wait for it to load up boom automatically as you can see now ctrl d to select it actually does fill the background and some might not even know what you just did right now so very very easy and straightforward so you can decide to just start your retouching from here but i'll finalize my uh manipulation my color grading i'm sorry i'm used to manipulation so that's the word that pops up mostly on my head so i just decided to do some freestyle when it comes to color grading so the next thing i just need to do just to go to my adjustment layer i just want to add a little bit of skin color to it just go to my color lookup click on load 3d lots now I'll click on my natural color boom automatically click on ok it's going to color grade the entire picture for me but just color a little bit too much on my liking just have to bring down my opacity until i see if it's 45 is okay as you can see actually get a nice color graded picture simple and straightforward 
so that's all for today tutorial guys thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also turn on the location icon if you have any question you can contact me and i'll get back to you as soon as possible if you're interested in getting my preset pack my updated preset pack they are available for sale just click on the link below to redirect you to my store why you can get them there and if you're interested in getting the pictures i use for my manipulation my retouching my color grading and stuff so click on the link below to join my telegram group there are free files and free work materials to practice with see you guys on my next tutorial one love